I find myself still like saying this to myself like no matter how much I work out and like eventually even learn to love like arms, stomach, legs, I can never just like make my boobs a different shape. I can make a young girl just completely tear herself apart, which is what happened with me. Hey besties, it's Hannah. Um, first thing I want to say, if you are related to me in any way, please click off this video. Yes, I know boobs are not inherently sexual, but it just, I'm going to be a lot more comfortable and you're going to be a lot more comfortable if people that are related to me you're not watching it <laughs> anyways um so yeah today i'm gonna be doing a very different video for me and it this is very outside of my comfort zone i am horrified <laughs> um i've never been able to talk about this about this with like people <laughs> um i haven't even talked about this to my therapist but i posted on my instagram a few weeks ago if anyone had ever heard of, um, oh, I didn't even say what I was doing this video on. I'm gonna be talking about tuberous breasts. They are also called tubular breasts. Um, I feel like there's another name. I'll be using tuberous breasts because I think that's the most common like med medical term for it. Anyways, I asked on my Instagram, one, if people had heard of this term and maybe like three people said yes. And um, so many people said no. And then if people would be interested in me talking about it and a crap ton of you guys said you would watch it. So I hope you're gonna come through because this is very hard for me to talk about. But yeah, okay, let's, let's get right into it. So the reason I wanna talk about this is because it has dramatically affected my mental health. Um, the way my body dysmorphia, the way I perceive myself, the way I present myself, um, just so many things. And when I was discovering myself and tried to look, look into this topic, all I found was how to fix it, what surgeries you can get. It's a deformity, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, like what? I thought, like all boobs are different, blah, blah, blah. But apparently not this one. This is a deformity. This needs to be fixed. So first of all, let's just define what tuberous breasts are if you don't know. The first definition that comes up, <sighs> tuberous breasts are misshapen breasts caused by a congenital is that how you say it? Kunji? Whatever, you guys know. Abnormality that restricts normal development of breasts during puberty. Now, pictures, I don't think I can put like picture pictures up. I will attach this cartoon image I found that I really, really liked. Let me find it. It says, what in the world are tubular breasts and why it's okay to have them? The reason for this comic is simple. Even within the body positivity circles, I almost never see breasts like mine. While not extremely un or not extremely common, it can be called rare since many people don't seek treatment, but many do. They feel shame that starts right when puberty hits. Shame that leads to years of psychosexual problems and low self-esteem. Um, two of the breasts are a result of breast tissue not proliferating properly during puberty and may be seen on anyone regardless of gender. Tubular breasts do not pose any direct threat to your health. Tubular breasts um, come in many shapes, just like any other breasts, but the most common traits are large puffy areola, wide spacing of the breasts, minimal breast tissue, sagging, bigger breast fold, or a narrow base. So that's just just the gist. Um, I'll attach like this account um, in my description because it's just been such a help for me. <sighs> but yeah, so that's... I don't know, you guys, normally when I have a video, I know what I'm gonna say, but this, I just, I have absolutely nothing. I'm just kind of going off. Um, so I guess I'll just talk about my experience um, growing up with tuberous breasts, tubular, I don't know which one I should use. So yeah, when I was first going through puberty, I didn't think anything of my boobs because I just thought they were in that stage you know, everyone's body changes differently at different paces. They're supposed to start out kind of, I don't know how to explain it, 
but smaller in that shape and then they kind of fill out normally. What are my hand motions? I, I don't know. I'm uncomfortable. Um, but as I grew up, I, you know, noticed they're not getting round. <laughs> like, they're just not. And I really was like, what's going on? Like, this is weird. But I kind of just, whatever. And I, I remember, like, growing up, bras never fit me right. But I didn't, I never thought about, like, my boobs being, like, misshapen. I was just like... This is so annoying, they don't fit right. Like, like jeans never fit right. I just thought it was just like a thing that just wasn't gonna work for me. Um, but I never, ever, ever felt like I could go braless because they were such like a weird shape. So you could always like, it's not like you could see my nipples through my shirt. Like you could see like the shape of my boob. And I remember like in dance classes, we weren't like allowed to wear bras that showed with our leotard. So like most of the girls went braless, but I remember like slipping those like pads that come out of your bras like into my leotard. And I still remember this one day like one popped out and like this girl laughed at me and I was like, Bleh. I don't know, it was, it was traumatizing. But like I was just so upset. I was like, why can't I just not wear a bra? Like it's so annoying. And I still get that. Um, but yeah, so as I started growing up, like high schoolish. I started seeing, this is only like four or five years ago, um, like started getting into body positivity and that kind of movement and really trying to accept myself, not even thinking about my boobs, like just my body as a whole. And a lot of body positivity pages do do like, um, like all boobs are different, like those pictures and they have like little drawings of like a bunch of different boobs. Like that comic said, like even in the body positivity realm, there isn't a lot of like difference in breast shape. Size, yes, but shape, no. Um, and that also makes it hard, because it's like, I don't have big boobs, but I don't have small boobs. They're just a weird shape. And it sucks, because it's like, I hate them. I don't want anyone to ever see them. And so I think it was like, I honestly don't know when I looked it up, or when I actually found out that it was a thing. Uh, I had looked up like, home boobs or something like I was just so like confused why my boobs were like that and I eventually came across tuberous breasts that that term so just like oh my gosh maybe it's that so I googled the term tuberous breasts and this is where I just this started just ruining me when you google tuberous breasts everything that comes up let's wait for it to focus augmentation it's like I can read this um, augmentation, correction, deformity, correction, fix them, reconstruction, plastic surgery, correction, surgery, surgery, uh, su syndrome under a plastic surgery website, correction, correction, deformity, correction, correction, oop, this one's not. So how many did that take me to just get a website about them that weren't, like, fix them? I mean, it was horrible. Like, my first experience, like, trying to figure out what I had was just website after website telling me it's a deformity and you should fix it. I mean, oh my gosh, like, the thing that did to my mental health, I can't even tell you. And I was just like, oh my gosh. I need to have plastic surgery. Like, I can't get plastic surgery. One, I don't want it. Two, I would never be able to afford it. Three, my family would freak out if I got, like, a boob job. Like, oh my gosh. There was just everything going through my head. Like, this is not happening. And then I was like, why? Like, why should I need that? Like, why does it matter? Like, why? Ah! And I just got so upset, and I cried a lot, and this just went on for years. And I, I honestly, like, can't remember the timeline, but I just remember always just hating it. And especially as I got more into feminism and all that, um, with like the no bra, free the nipple, all of that, I cannot, I can, I guess. I'm trying to get to that level of acceptance. But girl, when I, if I don't wear a bra, it's just, it's not cute, okay? It, I have to like, a shirt like this is fine because it's like a ribbed tank top, so it's really tight. It's kind of like a sports bra, honestly. Um, I have pajama bottom on. But like, just like a t-shirt, like it's just not cute. And I remember even like sleepovers when I was a kid, I had to wear like a bra to bed and like secretly take it off 
under the covers because I was like, I don't want them to see what they look like. Even like through my t-shirt. And it was just absolutely humiliating and I felt like such a freak. I'm like out of breath because I'm like getting anxious talking about this. Um, and yeah, and it was just, it was, it's been so hard and it just made me absolutely hate my body. And I might do a separate video on body dysmorphia, but my boobs were like, are like the center of it. Because I always, I find myself still like saying this to myself, like no matter how much I work out and like eventually even learn to love like arms, stomach, legs, I can never just like make my boobs a different shape unless I get surgery. Like, I'm gonna have to either learn to love them or get surgery. I don't wanna get surgery because there's a lot of like risks with that. Not because I have anything against plastic surgery, just for medical reasons and I just, that freaks me out. <laughs> um, but yeah, I find myself a lot saying like, even if I get this perfect body that I've always wanted in every other sense, I cannot just change the shape of my boobs. And that's been like one of the hardest things for me. Uh, yeah <laughs> um, and I remember I think it was my freshman year of college this girl I don't know if you guys know Miranda Cooper I don't know a lot of backstory on her I know she's like this horrid person on social media and she like I don't know she's said a lot of slurs and she's just a terrible person but a picture of her boobs got leaked and she very clearly has like more more intense like tuberous breasts and instead of like people hating on her for her use of racial slurs and um, just all this stuff she was hated on for her boob shape and everyone was just making fun of them so hard making memes out of them I remember one person like made like a blob fish and like put it next to it and like put, oh my gosh it was just it was so bad and I was like I was sobbing in my bedroom like my boobs are like somewhat similar and all these people are saying how disgusting are they are and why do they look like that and nobody like knows what they are and it was just like it was absolutely horrible like the pain I felt that day was so bad because like does she not have enough other things for you to hate on like hate on her for being an awful person not because of her boob shape because then people like me <sighs> obviously compare themselves you know you know you know what I'm saying I'm not good at processing my thoughts but I feel like I feel like you get it um, so yeah, that was just horrible. And then I remember going on TikTok and saw my friend, she's not my friend anymore, but she had posted like a TikTok about the picture that was leaked and like gagging or something. And I was like, oh my God, like you're my friend. Like obviously she didn't know like about my boobs, but like just knowing like my friend thought they were disgusting, which means if she saw me, like she would think I was disgusting. I was like, oh my God, that was like the last straw. I was absolutely done sobbing in my room. And it was just, it was a really bad time, <laughs> honestly. Um, it's just, yeah, and I'm 21 right now, but first time I went, sorry, <laughs> to my OBGYN, I talked to her about it, and she was like, oh, you'll grow out of it. You're still growing. And I was like, mm -hmm, okay. And obviously, oh, she put, I got put on birth control, and she said, these will probably, like, make you gain weight, and they'll probably, like, fill your boobs out. And I was like, mm -hmm. Okay. And then I went back a year later and I was like, she was like, do you have any concerns you want to talk about? I was like, not really, but like, I told you last time like about my boobs. And she was like, mm, yeah, um, oh, don't worry, like you'll grow out of it. And I was like, I'm 21, like, yeah, I know my body's still growing kind of, but like, these have, they've not changed for like, what, five, six? I can't do math many a year <laughs> like what like are you not even gonna i don't know not that she could do anything about it because i've looked into it a lot there's really no way you can change them besides surgery but it was just annoying to be told like mm, you'll grow out of them like hun no aren't you a doctor like look into this like this isn't just a thing that like i don't know 
Anywho, um, that was just really frustrating for me. And another thing that was really hard is like, still is, is like the dating realm because it's like, it's so scary. Like knowing that I look like, <laughs> like you feel like you're a catfish for not, I don't know, putting my bio, I have weird boobs. Like what, why? I, it's just like such a weird, like concept, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, I just wanted to like talk about this so that people like me like felt less alone because when I tried to look into it, I found nothing. Just like a teenager, like, oh my God, I'm not a teenager anymore. Damn. But like a teenager talking about like their experiences with it and not just like, oh, you should get surgery for sure. So that's why I wanted to like make this video and I guess I could talk about like, okay, stuff to wear to make you more comfortable. Got it. Oh, so let me just, as I said, I did not plan this video, so bear with me. Oh my God. Okay, so as I said, like this is a rib tank top from Air Postal. And I like these tank tops because I can wear them like in the summer without a bra because they're so like tight that they just kind of do what a bra would do, <laughs> if that makes sense. Excuse my pajama bottoms. Um, let me show you like my favorite like bralettes. So for years, one of my biggest problems, sorry guys, was like just trying to find bras that fit. And like they would always, let me find one. I don't have a lot anymore. I think I saved like one. So like just a normal bra like this, because of the shape of like my boob. This part is only for my besties with tuberous breasts because like the rest of you don't need to see my bra collection, but I'm just trying to help you out. So I'm talking to you now. So if your boob is like a tuber tuberous shape, like it won't fill that top part out. So it was always like this part was just like, just air here. And it was just, it was never right. I kept one <laughs> just in case, I guess. Um, but for the most part, I just wear like bralettes. My favorite is anything from Target really, but like these ones, cause they're comfy and like they really kind of like the ribbed tank top. They're like tight. I don't know how to explain it. I'll just show you. This one's great. Um, and then Target also has like these super simple, like almost like t-shirt bralettes. I don't know if you can see the texture. It's also like a rib tank top. I see a theme. Fantastic, I have a billion different ones. And then, um, this is also from Target. No, this is from American Eagle, I think. I think this is either American Eagle or Hollister. I cut the tag off like I always do. This one does have padding. I tried to stay away from padding to like get more comfortable with my boobs, but it's just a nice like alternative. And I think like the halter tops really help with like shape if you do want to feel a little more comfortable because they just kind of like squeeze not push up but like you know um that's kind of like really all i have i got this one from american eagle i don't like it because it's not that i mean it's cozy for like loungewear but i wouldn't want to like wear it all day because it's kind of got a lot of like annoying things what is this um favorite purchases ever is from Aeropostale again. What? I like ordered them online because I don't have an Aeropostale anywhere near me. But these, these are basically like long line sports bras, but you can wear them for whatever. Again, it is a ribbed material, which it has just been my like savior. The pads fell out, oops. Um, but these are just so great. I have them in like black, pink, but it's in the wash right now and this blue. Honestly, in the summer, I've worn these just as like shirts. So good, so good. Last real one is, I'm very mad because it's from Pink or Victoria's Secret, but I can't find it anywhere anymore. I found it once on like eBay and obviously I wasn't gonna buy it from there. Like more colors, because this is just the best like bralette for my boobs I've ever had. I don't know what it is, maybe it's the halter. And they do still sell like the halter, but it's like lace or something. I don't know, I like the adjustable. This is just so good. I wish I could help you find this. 
So basically what I'm saying is either bralettes or like ribbed material of anything is the way to go. And the reason I try to stay away from padding now is just to like get more comfortable with the shape of my boob because when I wore like a lot of padding, I was like, I have big boobs, but it's like, that's, that ain't no boob, baby. Like, that's just padding, honey. And it's not even like your shape. Like, what are you doing? Like, I was just like hiding myself and I still do. <laughs> still do a lot because it's hard like people don't get it and it's not a thing that's like talked about one second it's just not talked about almost ever and as i said like when you google it it's just all these negative 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 things that can make a young girl just completely tear herself apart which is what happened with me this dog i'm dog sitting story can you hear it wait I just, I saw that and it just absolutely ruined my mental health, my relationship with my body, um, all that jazz. I really want people to like see this video when they search it up instead of all this negative stuff. Not that this was positive in any way, it's just like knowing that there are other people, like your age, I don't know, it was just, I wanted someone like my age talking about it, like, knowing that there were other people with the same, like, issue, not an issue, it's an issue, it is, it kind of is, it's, it's just a struggle, really, um, but I really wanted to be that for someone because I didn't have it, so I hope that this reached the right audience. <laughs> mm. Please, 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 please do not hesitate to like DM me on Instagram or something. I am no famous girl, so I will, <laughs> I will respond to you and talk to you about this. If you have um, tuber stress or you think you do or you just are uncomfortable with your body and you just want to talk to someone, I'm your girl because I've been there, I am there still. <laughs> it's a process for sure. Um, but yeah, please, please, please reach out to me. Honestly, it would help me to know like there are other people dealing with this too. So yes, I think that's all I wanted to talk about. As I said, I really didn't have a plan. I was just like, I need to talk about this. So yeah, I think that's it. If you did enjoy it or learned something from it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. Mm -hmm. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and DM me if this relates to you at all and we can chit chat. All right, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Why did I whisper? Bye. Oh, I'm done. <laughs>